So like, I feel like y'all already know what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about that whole boxer situation. Yusuf Matt, or no, I might have pronounced it wrong or whatever. But y'all know where I'm going with this. You know, the porno. You know, a lot of y'all watch porn every day. You know what I'm saying y'all see a lot of gay people having sex. And the fact that it was somebody from Philly is a shocker, yes, because Philly is the bit, like, we always been on somebody. And, you know, it's crazy because what I heard, he has 10 kids. And, you know, to suddenly just seen a porno, you know, with him in it, you know, doing the most, as it always happens. That's what porn does, it does the most. You know, it's, it is shocking because it's like you got 10 kids, you, had, you got a girl, and just to, you know, suddenly just take, get some leak, just like, yo, what are you doing, right? But at the same time, it's just like, you can't bash this man for being gay because there's a lot of people out here in Philadelphia that's undercover and not even right within themselves to even come out. So it was like, he probably struggled with trying to keep a rope with himself for a very long time. And you got to give him, I'm not saying give him the benefit of the doubt, but you got to give him some time and space to realize who he is and what he did. And and if he felt like he needed to make a statement about who he is or what he did, then, you know, let him let him do it. People, people speak on their opinions every day. I just feel like as far as the porno, as far as anything, you know, he should have just kept it real with himself. As I said, I came out to my mom twice. <laughs> like... It's not, people come out every day, you know, but when the time is right, you know, saying saying or doing anything behind closed doors that, you know, is kind of secretive, it's hard to tell the people because you don't, first, first you don't, you don't want to be judged, and second, you're afraid of how people are going to look at you, and whoever is in his corner with this whole situation, kudos to, you know, kudos to them, whoever got anything to say about it, you know, people won't say about it, people are going to talk, he's obviously the talk of the town, and he... His his mission is accomplished. He he became the talk of the town. It was like, and honestly, I never heard of the guy until I was on Twitter. And I'm like, wow, you know, this guy from Philadelphia, and I let it be. And then it was just like it was circulating because of the Daily News. Now he took it upon himself. From what from what else that I heard? Oh, that's another thing that I heard. That he took it upon himself to go to the Daily News and say, you know, I'm not gay or I was drugged. Stand the third. Now, my opinion on that, he obviously wasn't drugged. People know what they're doing when they're having sex. And it wasn't like the video was short or like 10 seconds long when I say short. But at the end of the day, how he felt or what he did, ain't nobody business but his and how he felt, even though it was all out there. He felt how he felt. He did what he did. And at the end of the, and at the, end of the day, remember, a lot of y'all probably friends with people that's gay and not saying nothing. Just remember that.